Okay, we're back, and let's let's do this, let's do this quick, because it's we're almost done here. We gotta go game chasing, game hunting, game hunting, not game chasing. Shout out to the game chasers. Uh, next is my first introduction into drugs. Well, I don't do drugs, but it introduced me to what drugs are, and that is Narc. I absolutely love this game for mainly the music. Or I just don't know if anybody can tell me who like the if I. Like which artists are in this in this game because I absolutely love the music. Decent game too. Next is like I said, I'm a huge fan of Oni Musha and I have them all. And I hope one day that they make a sequel or an HD version. But that is Oni Musha 2. Good game. Oni Musha 3. Good game in my opinion. And Oni Musha: Dawns of Dreams. This game is long as hell, but I love this game, like, fucking no tomorrow. Highly recommend the Onimusha series. Prefer it better than De Devil May Cry. But yeah, let's move on. We're almost done. Don't, mi don't mind me off camera because I do, yeah. Okay, moving on. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Now, I paid $100 when this was, when it was $100. And I guess I can say I do like it, but yeah, good fighting game. Crazy Taxi, so so game. I are people rec I I remember sharing this on the OK Cheap Divers Nation page, and people have said that it's a pretty good game. I always wanted to try out the Crazy Taxi series, so I picked it up, and I saw oh, it's all right. Nothing too crazy. It's the first instance Road Rage, it's pretty much a clone of it. Moving on, Tetris World. It's Tetris. Our camera lady's like super, just grinning at me because she's an ultimate fan of Tetris because she plays it all the time. If you ever want to face her on Tetris, add her on Facebook because no. she's, she's willing to face people. She thinks she's... No. She no. thinks she's MLG in that bitch. Say she, what? She'll wreck people. That's what she said. So yeah, moving on. Resident Evil 4. I bought this brand new sealed, still my original copy, and I thought, all right, this is like one of the best Resident Evil games I ever played. I just can't say more. I I played the HD version, completed it, got all the trophies. One of the best Resident Evil games. Unimusha, the first game, my first, uh, my original copy. A good amount of these are my original copies when I got when I was a kid, or well, young teen, or I don't know what you said. But yeah, good game. Prefer the, uh, the later games because there's more to it. Max Payne, when I saw this game when I was a kid, I had nightmares of it, and I couldn't sleep because if you guys remember the, the, the part of the game where where you're walking on a trail of blood. I can never beat that part. So I had to use cheese to unfortunately beat it. I still can't beat that game, that, that one stage. The first bloody scene. I could beat the other ones, but not that one. Because it just terrified me. I don't know, I do plan on beating it one day. You know, maybe it could be a video one day. Shadow the Hedgehog. I like Sonic games. This is not the best, but I do like it still. Now next is Namco Museum 50th Anniversary, one of my favorites because it has one of my favorite, favorite retro games and that is Dig Dug. And I absolutely love Dig Dug. It's one of those, one of those games I just, I don't know, I just could play endless and endless of hours. I just love it so much. I love Dig Dug. And for, I don't know, give it a like if you like Dig Dug, because I love Dig Dug. I can't, I keep on saying Big Dog, but yes, moving, Big Dog, okay, moving on, is another personal favorite, I said already so much good shit about this game, in this series, I absolutely love it, is We Love Katsumari, an even better version, better game than the first one, one of my favorites, it's way better than the first one, the music and stuff. If you listen to the music, it's not, it's, it's, I wouldn't say it's, everybody would like it, but I love it. 
Moving on, Spider-Man. I almost beat this in one day when I was a kid. Never played it now, but I did play a good amount of it when I was a kid. Sonic Riders. I can't say more more about it because I do in love do love the Sonic Riders series. Not the best for some people, but I do like it. I don't know. I just think like racing on hoverboards and shit is pretty cool. Next is Namco Museum. If this is the reason why I like Dig Dug because it had Dig Dug, and I like the pack the 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 more uh, modern Pac-Mans that that's in this game. I used to play them all the time, but since my PS2 doesn't play blue discs anymore, I can't play it until I get a slim. But yes, good game. Next is, in my feeling, my my opinion is kind of a hidden gem, an underrated game, and that is The Thing. Now, if you have seen John Carpenter's The Thing or The, the Thing from Another World, then you're going to like this. And if you like... Yeah, I, I just love this game. It's a blue disc game and I played it when I was a kid, but I can't play it anymore until I get a PS2. Good game. Now, next is Half-Life, and Half-Life is Half-Life. I do, I prefer to play it on a PC, because I do want to be on a PC, but it's Half-Life. It plays kind of weird. It's a blue disc game, but for some reason it works on my PS2. Next is Time Splitters. Not the best Time Splitters. I, I would say play Future Perfect because it's way better. But Time Splitters. Next is another blue disc game that I cannot play, and that is Ninja Assault. Decent game. From what I've seen from gameplay, of it, it looks alright. I have the gun to play it, but yeah. One of my favorite uh, Sonic games is the Sonic Mega Collection Plus, and I need an upgrade because light damage, no stun faded on the side. But yeah, moving on, good game, love Sonic, nothing bad to say about Sonic. Because Sonic was one of my first games that I ever played. Alright, we're on the last stack, and I can say that these, I can say, are all good. So maybe not this one. Sonic Heroes, one of my favorites. I played the shit out of this. I could play the first stage in less than a minute or something. I, I don't remember my original score, but I love this game. I love playing, like, Big the Cat and Amy and I forgot what was the other one. Uh, Cream. Yeah. Big fan of Sonic. And this game, I think, is kind of like an underrated game. But I, I know that people know what this is, but I think this needs more attention and a better sequel than than what it had for the PS2, and that is Def Jam Fight for New York, one of the best. This is the reason why, when I was younger, is that I got into rap and knew what rap was. I didn't know what, like, who Snoop Dogg was or Exhibit or any of that stuff, but thanks to this game, I knew, I, I was, like, shown the world of rap, and the game is amazing if you like, if, if you like, like, wrestling style of fighting made by the same people that made yeah no mercy games so Aki engine again because it's they do oh my god smackdown versus raw uh lord of the rings the two towers greatest hits for one of my favorite in my opinion the best lord of the rings out of all of them uh next is tekken 4 Pretty good game. And last, of, out of everything I have here, I think it's 160. I could be wrong. If somebody could want to count it, feel free and correct me. I'm more than fine with it because it keeps me up to date with what I have. And another reason why I made this video is mainly because to keep track of what I have now, and hopefully in the future I can reminisce of when I do hopefully complete the collection. The same like, damn, this is how I started. But yeah, I, I guess I could say, I could delay this a little bit and hope people are thinking like, oh, come on, just show us the last game. You probably saw it already. But yeah, why I like the PS2? 
it's I don't know. It's just when I when I fully moved on with like like to the new generation of games. I know that there was Xbox and GameCube, but I had PS2 ver first. I just recently just got an Xbox, so I can't really say. And I'm gonna let this video like I don't care if this is 10 minutes long. It doesn't matter. So it's okay, Miss Camera Lady. You don't have to worry about it. But uh, why I love the PS2, I don't know. I, I always grew up with PlayStation. I did have a PlayStation one. If you can't see over there, it's I have PS1 games. I didn't have a lot when I was a kid, but yeah, PS2. Like I used to get sick all the time, and I would just play PS2, and PS2, and that's why I, I feel that's the most nostalgic for me because. I don't know, I just was entered in a world of just awesome games and a lot of these games I played when I was younger and they are my original copies. I know people like to collect NES and you know Super Nintendo and all that stuff and I feel you. Like I like I like I like those those systems. They were my first consoles, but I preferably like PS2 for the ultimate like as my ultimate system. If I were to get rid of my whole collection, I would say I would keep my PS2 and stuff at least. But, hey, everybody has their thing. I do plan on collecting other stuff. Like, I do have GameCube and all that stuff, like I said. I don't have a huge collection for them. Not as big as this. Probably like 20 games or something for each system. But, yeah, I'm just huge fan of PS2. I can't say, I'm probably rambling here right now, but I'm just very passionate about the console. Like, I have, you, for PS2 collectors, you probably know this, but you gotta use a lot of memory cards. I have so many memory cards for PS2, like, it's not even funny. Like, I have two in the system right now. I have, like, I don't know, I have, I have a bunch of them right here. Because I have to keep on buying them because I fill them up with files and stuff. And I don't like deleting from my files because I could say that this file was made in 2006 or when the game came out. So yeah. So without further ado, the last game, I, 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 I could tell a quick story about this. When I got, when this game first came out, of the Greatest Hurts version, I thought like, this game looks pretty cool and... I skipped school for this. I, I I pretended I was sick, and I played the shit out of this. And if I spit there, sorry. Uh, I just I don't know. It's one of my one of my memories. I do remember playing this game. And yeah, without further ado, and it is Simpsons Hit and Run. If you don't like killing and stuff in Grand Theft Auto, pick this game up because it's really good. If you're a huge fan of Simpsons like me, I still like Simpsons even though they kind of, you know, uh, people know. But yeah, I would say pick it up. It is my original copy. I do plan on getting an upgrade of it. Um, maybe because sometimes this game doesn't work for me. I have shit scratched the hell. I need to clean the disc a little bit. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, Give it a like, you know, like I said, I do plan on, you know, maybe I, I thought about doing PS2 reviews, but if you want me to go on further, deep up, like, like, talk about more about a game, feel free to ask me in the comments, click that like, hit that subscribe like all YouTubers do, because, I don't know, I don't plan on, you know, going big or anything, but I do like to talk to the gaming community and PS2 collectors. Any PS2 collectors that want to, you know, talk PS2 shit, I'm more than happy to. But yes, without further ado, this will be the end of the video. And this is Chris and... Christina. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do what I said. Link in the description below if you want to check out my game hunting videos. But yes, I'm out. Peace. See you at the next video.